Hi, I'm Derek Wolf, and it's uh, April 4th, and I'm making a split. I've got a hive here that has four boxes, and it's got a lot of bees in it, as you can see. So I'm going to basically pull off four frames of uh, eggs and capped brood, and I'm going to put it into this nuke box. It's a five-frame nuke box. I've got some of last year's honey, a big frame of gooey honey, and this is going to be the food for them. And I've opened that up a little bit and I've put it up against the side. I'm going to put four frames in here. There's a lot of bees here, so it, it won't bother them to lose four frames of bees. And I may even shake in a few extras. So the real quest of this, of course, is to get a couple frames that have cap brood. So when the cap brood comes out, uh, they will be the nurse bees uh, and then become the foragers. And some uncapped brood so that the nurse bees can do all their business and we have sort of a longer life. And of course we want uh, at least one frame that has day-old eggs, which are the little eggs standing up. And of course we want to make sure we don't bring the queen with us, otherwise, <laughs> well, yeah. Anyway, here we go. So I've gone through the hive and I've, I'm, I've got four boxes, so I'm down sort of in the middle too. And there's a nice combination of uh, different sets of frames with different uh, varieties. Let's have a little look. So, take one out in the middle. This one's got a lot of drone comb, so I'm not really going to take it. Um, and so I'm going to leave this one here. I really want to find a couple frames that are nicely capped. So let's just have a look around. This one here is nicely capped. And there are some drones on it. It looks like there's no queen. And on this side here, there's quite a few day old eggs and so they could be drawn into queen cells. So I'll just look for the queen and I don't see her and I've got two sides of capped brood as well as day old and some larva in there as well. So here we go. This one goes inside. I don't shake the bees off. I just take all the nurse bees that are on it and put them in. So I'm going to take another one here that's beside it. And this one's got uh, beautifully laid out, nice pattern, lots of bees, and you can see day-old eggs. You do have to be a little careful because if you take a lot of day-old eggs, then you might find yourself with 15 queen cells, and that's not so great either. So you don't really need to take too many for them to draw. They'll know right away that they don't have a queen, and they'll start lay, uh, pulling out queen cells. Just going to look for the queen here. I haven't marked her. I'm colorblind anyway, so all of those markings don't help me. So, no queen. We can pray. And in it goes. Nice to take them from beside each other. Then their friends and so on are right with them. So there's two. I'm going to take one right out from beside that one as well. Again, these are beautifully laid, lots of bees on it, and from what I can see, no queen. Now, if you take out a lot of brood that's not capped, and there's a lot of larva here, you have to make sure that you shake in enough nurse bees so that uh, they will take care of these and they won't just let them die. So, no queen, I hope. Lots of young little furry bees. Oh, they are so cute. I will name each one of them. So there's three. So I'm going to uh, put in the frames. I'm going to put in one of undrawn. I'm just going to move these. I'm going to actually help put in the ones that I brought. I clean these ones up. She can lay in there. That's perfectly ready to lay. That's going to go right back in the middle. And there's a good chance she'll discover this in the next little bit. And she'll start laying. Here's another one that's got you can see the brood from last year where it was, so that was a beautiful one. It's got a little bit of honey on it, and that will just go in the middle as well. And this one here has some drawn comb on it. They'll clean that up. She can lay on it. So I'm basically putting three or four frames right back in the middle of the hive, right for her to start laying on. This one has nothing. I can put it... I'm going to move my frames in a little bit and put this on the outside for now. This way they, they have a place for the new bees to make wax. 
Great. So I'm going up to the top box here, and I'm just going to pull out one that's, again, full of capped brood. So these things will all hatch out, and they will help the whole situation. There's honey on the outside. There's pollen on the outside. I'll put a, poly pa a pollen patty on here as well. Looking for queen. And there's lots of bees here. Instead of gishing them as I push this in, I'll just shake these girls in. Gently. Get most of them off, and then I'll put that in. There's a lot of drones on the bottom, so I'm just gonna scrape those off. I don't really want the drones. I'll take out the, if there's any Varroa, and I'll take them out. I don't really need them. Where I'm taking this to, there's a lot of, uh, there's a few hives, I just can't say a lot of hives, a few hives, and, oopsie, they will, there we go. And so there'll be a lot of drones where that, where they're going. So I'm basically going to take one frame from the outside. Look again for the queen. There's no queen here. I'm just going to shake a few of these in. And that way we'll have a nice full nuke. So there we go, lots of bees. Top on. There we go, girls. Actually, one thing I did want to do was I wanted to put a pollen patty in here, just at the back, so that in case they need it, they've got it. So pollen patty and top, and there we have a split. So I believe that they'll start, I hope they'll start drawing out queen cells and within 16, 17 days, a new queen will hatch out. She'll take me to mid-April, maybe a week for her to get her legs and fly and go out. So maybe by the end of April, this will be a fertilized queen. I'll put this back together and um, we're done. That's a nuke.